This video has been supported by these lovely people you see before you. With the support I get from my Patreons, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me give back to you guys so I can afford to do giveaways and tutorials more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel and get some great rewards. Enjoy the video. Oh hey look, it's the body tutorial you've all been waiting for. To start off, we are going to stuff our duct tape dummy. We want to make this fairly firm as it will be what we are building our bodysuit around. I'm stuffing this with newspaper and catalogues as they're plentiful and disposable. A few things to note before we jump into the actual making of the bodysuit. The pattern for the digi pillows I'm using for this bodysuit are ones I've experimented with and found to work for me. However, if you would like to get a pattern for, us, for yourself, you can carve padding out of several blocks of foam and tape around them to get the pattern, or you can find some online. The ones I'm using are very similar to Matrices Digigrade Padding Tutorial. I take my pattern and trace it onto some cotton, but whatever fabric you have should work fine. Each leg pad has three pieces to it, a base and two sides. The butt piece only has two. I then pin and sew the cotton pieces together. I then turn them inside out and stuff to them and stuff them to the desired firmness. Once all those are done, I take my padding to my duct tape dummy and start to secure one side of the padding on with duct tape, as well as the butt pad. I play around with where I want it to sit and tape it in place. I then cover one leg and the torso in cling wrap to allow me to tape it up to make my pattern. I then start taping up one side of the duct tape dummy. This will allow me to create a pattern and then flip it for the other side. I leave out the arms as I can create a tube of fur for these later on. I create the piece of fur that will connect the body to the foot by placing the foot on the end of a leg and adding strips of paper and tape to help create that transition. This part can be a bit finicky and it can take a bit of practice but you'll get there. Next I start drawing on the base patterns for the bodysuit. Keep in mind that this will be mirrored to the other side once we sew it together. I also divide it up into sections to help it lay flat once cut off the dummy. So I split the front and back torso as well as the inner thigh and outer thigh and the calf inner and outer. 
I mark the colour and direction of the fur on the dummy as well as draw random lines along where the pattern pieces meet. This will assist me in sewing it together later on. I cut these out and off the dummy, trim excess cling wrap and cut into any round pieces of the pattern to allow them to lay flat. Now it's time to cut the fur. I split it into the two colours we used to make the suit and take careful note of the fur direction. I trace it onto the back of the fur and cut out. I repeat this with the black fur. All right, now it's time to start sewing it all together. This character has Thieves Guild marking on their back, so I'm starting with that detailed marking. I then work on sewing the rest of the body together. I work using the marks I made earlier to help sew the body together. I'm working by first sewing together the torso, then each leg, then sewing the legs together, then attaching them to the torso. I leave the front of the chest open for a zip. As you can see, bodysuits take a lot of sewing work. After each line I sew, I try to comb out as much of the trapped fur as possible. You can reduce the amount of fur trapped by tucking the pile in before you sew, but it never really gets all of it. I'm using my ultra strong upholstery thread for this as it will make the bodysuit extra durable.
once I finish sewing it all together, I add a zip down the middle of the bodysuit. And guess what? I discovered that I've lost the last chunk of footage. So until I make another bodysuit and re-record this, you guys can have this dodgy Photoshop rendering of what to do next. First, we cut a rectangle of fabric. With the length being the length of the arm and the two sides being the circumference of the armhole and the circumference of the wrist with the paw on. Next, we sew this in half and sew onto the bodysuit. Repeat on the other side. Next, we need to attach the digi padding to the bodysuit. So we sew buttons to the base piece of all our padding, four on each. Then we need to have loops for these buttons to go into. So we cut a length of elastic and fold it in half. Then sew that to the inside of the bodysuit to match up where our buttons will go. Then turn it inside out and attach the buttons and loops together. Then turn right way out. Then we are done. Hope you guys enjoyed this full tutorial series of how to make a fursuit from head to tail. What do you guys want to see next? Let me know down below and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.